So question 13, integration. So it says find the integral between 2 and 0 of 2x, root of x plus 2 dx, and show that it's equal to 32 over 15, 2 plus root 2. So what I've done in the revision notes section of my website is put a video on how to choose the correct integral, uh, or rather the correct integration method. So it's worth a look. But I'm just going to tell you for this one, there's two different ways we could tackle this that will both lead to equally valid answers. There's integration by parts and integration by substitution. So let's start with a by parts. I'll do both methods here. So method one, we're going to do by parts. So the by parts formula, which you can get from the formula booklet, um, and this one we're going to let u equal 2x, which means that our du by dx equals 2. And we're going to let our dv by dx equals root of x plus 2, or x plus 2 to the half. And that means the integral of that to get v equals, well, add 1 to the power, x plus 2 to the 3 over 2, divide by the new power. So divide by 3 over 2 is the same as timesing by 2 thirds, and divide by the differential of the bracket because it's a linear expression. Divide by 1 just leaves us with the same thing. So that means that our integral now becomes subbing in the by parts formula, which is uv minus the integral of v du by dx. dx, the left-hand side of the formula, is the integral of u dv by dx. dx equals that. Subbing in that formula, we get uv, which is 2x times 2 thirds x plus 2 to the 3 over 2 minus the integral of v du by dx. So that 2 times that becomes 4 thirds x plus 2 to the 3 over 2 dx. Simplifying and integrating, that becomes 4 thirds x x plus 2 to the power of 3 over 2, take and add 1 to the power, it becomes 5 over 2, so 4 thirds x plus 2 to the 5 over 2, divided by 5 over 2, so that's the same as timesing by 2 fifths, and what I shouldn't forget is to put limits on these, so we wanted the limits to be 2 and 0, so 2 and 0 2 and 0 and let's uh, let's simplify first equals 4 thirds x x plus 2 to the 3 over 2 take then we've got 8 over 15 x plus 2 to the 5 over 2 all between 2 and 0 so good exam technique two big brackets with a minus sign between them, we should sub both in uh, both limits into the integral now. So we end up with 4 thirds 2. 2 plus 2 to the 3 over 2. Take 8 fifteenths. 2 plus 2 to the 5 over 2. Take 4 thirds 0. 0 plus 2 to the 3 over 2. Take 8 fifteenths, 0 plus 2 to the 5 over 2. Now, simplifying each of these, we've got 4 times 2 is 8 over 3. Then 4 to the 3 over 2. Take 8 fifteenths, 4 to the 5 over 2. Take, well this one just cancels, uh, take minus 8 fifteenths, 2 to the power of 5 over 2. Right, continuing with this, simplifying again. So 4 to the power of 3 over 2, well the square root of 4, dealing with the over 2 first, square root of 4 is 2, 2 cubed is 8. So we get 8 thirds times 8, which is 64 thirds. Take, 
and 4 to the 5 over 2. Well, again, the square root of 4 is 2, so 2 to the 5 is 32. So 32 times 8 fifteenths, 32 times 8 fifteenths, 256 fifteenths. Double minus, so plus 8 fifteenths, then 2 to the 5 over 2 is just root 2 to the power of 5. And the calculator should give us a nice answer to that. Root 2 to the power of 5. It doesn't give us a nice answer. Therefore, let's do it logically. So equals, well, we'll do that bit first. 64 thirds. Take 256 fifteenths. Is 64 fifteenths. Plus... 8 fifteenths, so think of it as 5 root 2 is multiplied by each other, like that. So we've got 2 times 2, which is 4, so 4 root 2 times 4 root 2, which is equal to 64 fifteenths plus, and we've got 8 fifteenths times 4. 32 fifteenths root 2. And taking out a factor of 32 fifteenths, we get, we get 2 plus root 2, as was required by the question. So there, we've shown it. So that was using by parts. Let's now do it again using substitution. So remind ourselves of the question. The question was... The integral between 2 and 0 of 2x root x plus 2. So the substitution we choose, as a not too strong rule, but something to look for first, is let u equal the bit inside the bracket, the innermost part of the integral. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let u equal x plus 2, which means du by dx equals 1, which means that du equals dx. So then, the integral between 2 and 0 of 2x root u dx. But now we're about to change dx for du, so the first thing we should do is change the limits. So if u equals x plus 2, well the x limit is 2, which means that u with 2 substituted in, which I'm going to write in function notation as u of 2, equals 2 plus 2 equals 4 or u of 0 equals 2 so that's equal to the integral between and the 2 limit now becomes 4 the 0 limit becomes 2 of 2x we're going to write root x as u to the half and we found that du was equal to dx so we can just replace that with a du. But it's important that when you do move to du, you do change the limits. Right, so now we're stuck with an x that won't cancel. However, if we look back to the original question here, we can see that u was equal to x plus 2. So since u equals x plus 2, that implies that x equals u minus 2. So wherever we're seeing x, we can replace that with a u minus 2. So equals the integral between 4 and 2 of 2, u minus 2, u to the half, du, equals the integral between 4 and 2. Let's take that 2 out as a factor. Let's put that there. And if we multiply out now this bracket, u times u to the half is u to the 3 over 2. Take 2u to the half du and integrating that it's equal to two lots of u to the uh, of u to the 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2 which is times 2 fifths take 
to you to the three over two i'd want the power divide by the new power which is the same as timesing by two thirds between four and two equals two lots of and same advice as before two big brackets with a minus between them and must make sure you sub the limits in both of them so two fifths four to the five over two take four thirds four to the three over two take two fifths two to the five over two take four thirds two to the three over two equals two lots and four to the five over two where the square root of four is two to the power of five is 32 so two fifths of 32 we'll simplify that later take away four thirds and four to the three over two is two cubed eight take two thirds then two to the five over two is root two to the power of five so two fifths and root two to the power of five is two pairs of root twos so a pair of twos which is four times a root two on its own take four thirds and a chain of three root twos there's a single pair of root twos in there which makes a two with a root two on its own at the end so put these individually in the calculator now equals two lots of and let's put in the calculator so there it is there so we've got two fifths of 32 take four thirds of eight equals 32 fifteenths then take then we've got two fifths of four root two take four thirds of two root two equals minus 16 root 2 over 15 16 root 2 over 15 equals 64 over 15 minus 32 over 15 root 2 and then taking out a factor of 32 over 15 we get the answer 2 minus root 2 is required so two different methods are possible by parts and by substitution both of which get the same answer so that's the paper finished not an easy paper towards the end lots of fiddly maths but that's what you've got to get used to with these papers for more videos like this subscribe to our youtube channel and to find out more about our skype tuition and revision courses go to a-levelmathsrevision.com